As a, as a Muslim, as a Muslim, can you say, I'm praying in the name of Muhammad, Gabriel and Allah? Why? Why can't you say it? No, because that's blasphemy. Thomas, in John 20, 26, yeah. says to Jesus, my Lord and my God. Okay. But in the next verse, okay. Jesus doesn't correct him. So if Jesus doesn't correct him, but Thomas is calling him God, what does that mean to you? What that is, is you've heard it somewhere, and without going to it and reading the entire thing, you're like, oh, I'm going to say this to another Christian. But when I explained it to you, in John 5.20, where it says, he is God, you're ignoring that. Oh, now, now he leaves. Hang on, hang on. Well, he did because you haven't really given him an alternative. No, because he's ridiculous. He says he knows more than my actual teacher. No, he didn't say that. Yes, he did. I asked him, does he know more than my teacher? Then he said yes. If you get him back here, he will say that again. Brother, I, I, I gave you an example. If he was a qualified chef and I'm a better cook than him, mm. that doesn't mean he knows. That doesn't mean. He right, but he's ne no, he's never studied anything. Brother, and he's trying to say that they're the same thing. Correct. Of course it is. Because no. if you're having different definitions, okay. then you need to study the definition. Philosophically, try and explain to me how the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are three divine entities, but yet they're one God. Okay. So they're three divine persons who share different conscience, but they're one being. But the one being is the nature of God, Jesus, the Son, uh, God the Father and God the Holy Spirit all have the same nature of God but they're three different homozeas. We have the same nature. How many people? How many You're people? comparing God to humans. You can't do that. Well, well, okay, how can you use rationality then? What? Rationally, rationally. Yeah. How so you're saying God is mysterious, truly is mysterious. Of course he's mysterious. It's can mysterious. you comprehend God? We can never understand. Can you comprehend God? No, no, no. What we understand Can is you comprehend God? To a certain extent, yes. Fully? Not fully. Exactly. So extent. why are you trying to, to understand it? No, the reason why, because at least it has to make sense. It does make sense. How does it makes sense to every Christian has, in here? And nobody has given me one reason why it makes sense. I just it done it. Does not make sense. Right, if you don't want to listen to me, that's your problem, okay? No, it's not my problem. Right. You haven't listened. You're that's no different. The Zoroastrians. Zoroastrians say the same thing. They believe in one God, but they they believe in divine entities. If you that's ask any Christian here, every Christian here believes in a Trinity. You're choosing not, I'm not to. You're choosing not to, even though I've explained it to you, you're still saying this doesn't make divine sense. Divine entities. Yes. Are all these entities divine? Yes. How many divine beings are there? Three. Can I ask you a question? When I asked two questions, I think last week and the week before that, I asked them, did they believe in the Trinity? Who? Two questions, I won't say names. I don't even know their names, but even though I did, I can't say names. They both said, what is the Trinity? Okay. Why would they say that if, if every Christian believed in the Trinity? Every Christian here. Every Christian here. Ask this guy. What, what guy? That guy? Yeah. You want me to ask people if they believe in the Trinity? Yeah. In order to prove your point. No, because what you're no what you're saying what you're saying is that I'm making my own version of no. it and that I'm using my own knowledge to understand no. it. But if you ask anyone here, version, then the I understand has it. Theory, has been a theory. Has been a doctrine for thousands of years. When did it start? When did it start? It started thousands of years ago. When? You want me to name you a date? Yes. You want me to name you a date? I don't have the date. You don't because have the date? Have the date look, look, look. History of, hi history of Christianity, I don't really care about history of Christianity. History of Christianity. You don't care about history? No, I don't care about history. Why not? I care about your theology. Man. You so, care about so, my theology? So, yeah, your theology? Can we talk about your theology? Huh? Your theology. So, well, okay, what problems do you have with my theology? That you disrespect Jesus. No one disrespects you know, you know Wait, hold on. This hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on. So let me ask you a question. So, let me ask you a question. We, let me ask you a question. No, let me ask you a question. Do you believe that to learn about a person, you need to go to their earliest documented like documents? Yes. Okay. So to learn about Muhammad, I need to go to Hadiths, right? So, why are you just completely ignoring all of the disciples of Jesus, all of the Bible, all of the documents from non-Christians that he exists, that he was a god even, and the church fathers, especially Saint, uh, Saint Ignatius of Antioch, when he said Jesus our God, who was a disciple of John, who studied really, him his I whole really life? Don't care. You don't care. I don't care about history. Theology you don't care about history? Why not? Because if it doesn't make sense to me... It so wait, hold on. Why are you ignoring yeah, no, that? No, no. The reason why, because God has given us the reason. Yeah, he's given us the faculties no, of we're, mind, we're the faculties talking. of using our sight, our yeah. hearing, right? Yeah. You cross the road, it's yeah. 40 miles per hour, right? You're going to stop, right? Yeah. Use your reason. Yeah. Let's use our reason when it comes to the Creator, okay? Now... But you don't care about history. 
theology. Let's talk theology. We are talking about, about theology. theology came I don't, Why are you ignoring I don't documents of Jesus? I don't, because I don't care. Are all of the disciples look, look, liars? I'm a, look, look, I don't care about yeah. history. John, Mark, Matthew. I don't Matthew. care about history. You don't care about history? No, I care about theology. Why do you not care about history? Why should I care about history? Yeah. Why should I care about history? Yeah. Histo because history doesn't <laughs> it doesn't actually prove Christianity is true. Are you serious? Doesn't. No, it doesn't. Why are you ignoring? Just, no, hang on. Religion, you do know history, mm. historical evidence, they don't take supernatural experiences into consideration. You do know that. I know that, yeah. Okay. So, but you know. So, so for me, know, hold on, using hold on, hold historical hold on. lens yeah, okay. is not my criteria to establish what's true or not. Do you understand? What established to be true is the theology, mm. yeah, the concept of God, mm. yeah, the concept of God in Islam. Do you want me to use? Do you want me to use theology to prove your God wrong? Because I will. Theology. I yeah. think I've already proven your theology wrong. Have right? you heard of the love paradox? Love. What, sorry? Paradox, which Go disproves on. any Unitarian God. Go on. Okay. So polytheism is more powerful than monotheism. No. Because we are monotheistic. You're, You're monotheistic. not monotheistic. Yes, we are. You're not. What is monotheism? Belief in one God. Okay. How many gods do you believe in? One. One. How many persons is, is in one God? Three. How's that one God? How's that one God? Because it's three and one. One to the power of three is one. One divided by one, divided no, no, by no, one no, is no, one. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on one hang on. times one times that's, one no, times no, no, one is one. One times one times one. You yeah. know, it has to be the same substance. Yes. Yeah, that one has to be the same substance as one. But you, you believe that they share the nature. They're not absolute. So okay. the father is not absolute. Yeah, the father is not. The father is not. What I've tried explaining to them. Hang on, the father is not absolute you know. with the son. Okay, the, you're saying they share the, the nature. Yeah. The father shares the, the nature. Yeah, because they are Jesus all the nature. Yes. They are all God's nature. Okay, fine. But there's still three divine entities, correct? Yeah. Distinct persons. Distinct. Exactly. Distinct persons. So how many God? One. Uh, let me let me ask. What he's doing is dividing, dividing the persons. Okay, let me ask you yeah, but you just said, brother, they're distinct. In order for us to be distinct, distinct. So you divide this, not me. We should hear it from no, the experience. In the sense that they we are, don't just they get the stuff persons. just because we divided. make it up. We get it from people that are so experienced, and, they, and there's evidence based on these uh, experiences that they have. So we, we can argue. Okay, point. wait, hold on. So okay. I'm going to ask you something. Have you heard yeah. of a Christian speaker? He's not just a speaker, but he's a musician too. His name is Bryson Gray. No. He's a Christian, and he would argue the Trinity. But he's not a Christian then. He's not a Christian. Now, if you don't believe in the Bryson Trinity, Gray. you're not a Christian. No, that's true. That's Bryson true. You can't Gray. Be a who is a Trinity. Bryson Gray, who is known for destroying any person in a debate, whether they're LGBT, whether they are Trinitarian, who may he had a reputation. He's got a reputation. Can you name one of his arguments? One of his arguments. Well, he's argued with a lot of people who believe in the Trinity. I can't say names. Why? Why? Because I don't know their names. He's been in so many debates. Look him up, Bryson Gray. I'm not looking I don't him agree up. with his political views because he's a Trump supporter. You know that's the, no, no, no. But he is correct about the Trinity. So if you, if you, if I'm using your own logic against you, we have to go to experienced people to learn about no, Jesus, I'm right? Saying in order, you're, 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 you're looking at, you're, you're arguing with us like we're making this all up. We're not. We're literally, we have tried to understand the Trinity from looking at Christian speakers, but we don't understand it. We've tried. That's your problem. That's not mine. That's not a problem. I've explained it to you. If you no, if no, you no, just no, want to no, be closeted, no, 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 that's your fault. No, no, you're right. You're there to present your argument. Yeah. yeah? But we have the choice whether we want to accept it. Correct? What I'm saying to you is that you're saying that the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, they're saying they share the same nature, correct? Yes. Okay, but we also share the same nature. You're, no, we're not comparing them. We're not comparing humans to God at all. At all. But let's use your logic. We're comparing the concept. Let's use your logic. You need to go to experienced people to learn about Christ. No, that's not what I said. I said there are certain people that we look at and then when we study it, yeah. we realize if they're right or wrong. Okay, so there if... Are okay. Ton, no, let me finish yeah, go, go ahead. Go, yeah. There are tons of Muslim speakers who might be incorrect about something. Who might Everything. Who might be incorrect yeah. a lot. Like I told you, I'm a Sunni. I'm not going to agree with every Shia. Yeah, who, they might say something that Sunnis agree with. But it doesn't mean that Shia is the right um, is the right um, sect of Christianity. Oh, not Christianity, Islam. Sorry, I'm stuttering. I have a problem when I talk too much. I stutter. Mm -hmm. The same. No, it's a normal. Yeah. We don't we don't just assume that everything. Uh, we have to learn from certain people and say, oh, you know what, that person. Okay, right, fantastic, fantastic. You have fantastic. to learn from people. Yeah. 
Hmm? You have to learn from people. No, no, no. I'm saying we can't just learn from someone and assume that everything they're saying is correct. Okay, fantastic. Okay, but let's look back. Let's go back to the historical evidence of Jesus, right? If we're denying, if you guys are de denying his divine claims and de denying his divinity, but John, who's a disciple, who lived with him, walked with him, I will not worship if he Jesus. wrote about him, especially in John 20, 26, where Timothy says, to Jesus Christ, my Lord and my God. Okay, is history... Wait, is hold on, hold wait, wait, two wait, seconds, wait, two wait, seconds. I'm still doing my point, I'm still doing my point. He says, my Lord and my God, to Jesus. Okay. But Jesus doesn't correct him. If Jesus doesn't correct him, he's taken blasphemy if he's not God. But what he's saying is that he is God, so he's not going to correct him. What? Thomas, in John 20, 26, yeah. says to Jesus, my Lord and my God. Okay. But in the next verse, okay. Jesus doesn't correct him. So if Jesus doesn't correct him, but Thomas is calling him God, what does that mean to you? Two seconds. No, wait, wait, wait. He's, he's... No, wait, I'm sorry. It's how you're saying. Okay, okay let, one, let, more okay. Time. one more time. In John 20:26, 20, Thomas looks at Jesus yeah. and says, "My Lord and my God," Jesus. to Jesus. In the next verse, English. Where it's tra translated into English. I read it in English. No, 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 no. Let him, let him speak. Let I read it in English, but he spoke Aramaic. It's whatever. All right, anyway, anyway. So he says that, and in the next verse, Jesus doesn't correct him at all. If he was, and my God. But if he was just a prophet. and my father. No, no, no. and my brother. No, no. It doesn't mean they're the same. Okay, so if I call you God, is that blasphemy? Is that blasphemy? Ah, so it is blasphemy. Is that blaspheming if I call you God? Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. How do you understand? It's blasphemy. Okay, okay. So is Thomas okay. blaspheming? How do you understand? He is. Jesus claiming he's God. Whoa, he claimed he's God. Whoever did, if you said the Bible claimed he's God. He just said Jesus claimed he's God. What is it in the Bible? Fantastic. How do you understand uh, John 17, 3? What does that say? Okay. Jesus said, this is life eternal, mm. that you may, that they may only believe in you to be the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou sent. How do you understand that statement? Let me get to John 17, 3. And who did Jesus say is the only true God? What does only mean? Do you know that, have you heard of the Nicene Creed? I don't care about Nicene Creed. I'm going by the evidence. He goes by the Bible. So you don't care about Nicene Creed. So, so that you means came, you don't so you know came, why. So you came out of the church fathers' of faith traditions, then what the Bible together. then what Jesus says. You, you don't know why that no. proclamation of faith so you, was put together. So you prefer to take the. No, I'm asking you. Do you. So you don't know why that proclamation of faith was put together. No, no, I'm asking him how to. Okay, let's, let's go on to it. Let's go on to it, right? So what does he say? That this is life eternal, that they may only believe you, the only one true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Jesus so Christ. did you know, beforehand, mm -hmm. in John 5.20, you know John, when you read his verses, you can't read it out of context, and you have to read his whole book, right? Of course, of course. So in John 5.20, Jesus says he existed before. So if Jesus existed before, and in the last line of 1 John 5.20, he says, and we are in him who is true by being in his son, Jesus Christ. He is the God and eternal life. Right. Who is that referring to? Well, if I go by that, Jesus. Okay. okay. So now, Jesus so calls so himself God. So how do you reconcile 17.3? I just told you. No, Jesus said they may acknowledge you, the Father, the only true God. Yeah, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast said. Who is Jesus? Talking about the only true God. Yes, is of it, course. Is it Jesus it, no, it is the only true God. Because yeah, he no, is God. Because he says. No, he said the Father is the only true God. Yeah. But so you know, he Jesus said. You know, he says. You know, he says. To get to the Father, you must also believe in me. Yeah, of course. So, so he is calling every, himself every, God there. Again, you, again, again, no, again, no, again, no, again, no, again. If, if you were to in the, in the lifetime of Moses, you, in, order to get, in order to get closer to God, you follow the teachings of Moses. Of course. That's nothing different. That does not make Moses. But God. did Moses call himself God? Huh? Did Moses call himself God? Hang on. But by your logic, therefore Jesus is God. Yeah, he is God. No, no, no. Like I just showed that you. Moses is God. No. Did, no, Moses, so that's not what did Moses ever make divine claims? Hang on. Why would he make the divine claims? Because he's not God. So why does okay. Jesus make divine claims? You're using circular reasoning. No, I'm not. No, no, no. Because I'm, I'm using your reasoning. I'm talking about John 17, 3. Yeah. And I'm Jesus, talking about who, beforehand. According to Jesus, who did he refer to when he said the only true God? The Father, of course. Right, the Father. Can Jesus be God then? Yes. No, he said the only true God is the Father. Yes. What does only Because they need to God pray mean? to the Father. No, no. Only true God. Mm. Who is it referring to? He's not going to come down as an atheist, is, Jesus is he? Is God? Yes. Okay, if Jesus is God, why do you say the only true God is the Father? Because he is the only true God. What does only true God mean? Because there is only one God. 
And who's that one, only one God that Jesus is referring to? I think what you're doing... No, 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 answer the no, question. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer, answer, answer you. I'm going to answer you. You're doing pop apologetics right now. And what that is, is you've heard it somewhere, and without going to it and reading the entire thing, you're like, oh, I'm going to say this to another Christian. But when I explained it to you in John 5.20, where it says, He is God. You're ignoring that. You said he is Why God. are you okay, ignoring Jesus that? Said he is God. Why are you ignoring that? No. John says it, okay. and so does How John's do disciples. Okay, okay. How do you reconcile that with John 17? I've just told you. No, you did not. He says he's existed before, no, no, no. and he's saying, so and he's claiming pre-existence. We existed before. Did we exist before the universe? Uh, so yes. Did we exist before the universe? Did we exist before the universe? In God's knowledge, yes. In God's knowledge. Yes, yes we were with Him. Yeah. Pre-existence. Yeah, Abraham was there before. Yeah, but he before Abraham, I am. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is this: when Jesus said the only true God is the Father, can it be possible that there could be other God that could be true? No, because there is no other God. So Jesus does not Jesus, in that category. You're ignoring my verse. Why are you ignoring it? I'm saying you reconcile it. You try and reconcile it. I've told you that in John 5.20, yeah. he is referred to as God. But he's saying this so how because they want him, they want them right. to pray to the Father. Okay, so how do you and when they pray to the Father, they are yeah. praying to God, okay. which means they're praying to Jesus as well, because Jesus received worship in about 20 other okay. chapters. Okay, but okay, fine. But how do you reconcile that verse, 520, mm -hmm. to 17.3? What is is 17 greater than 5? Sorry? Is 17 greater than 5? I thought you believe in John. I do. Yeah, so but tell me. So why are you comparing John 17? I'm asking John you a question, you no, need to answer. You're a Christian. You tell yeah. me. Okay, let me ask you. Is chapter 17 after or before chapter 5? I'm not sure, but I never read the Bible. I'm not sure you're I will answer the question, but I never read the Bible. Okay, it's 17. I'll ask one yeah, go on. Right now, yeah. you, what you can benefit from. You know you believe in Christianity, right? I'm, that's what I'm learning. This is the ground. get it. You don't even ever, you know, ever have their own brain, you, know, you don't even listen to people for what you believe in. What's Who that? Did Abraham hmm? Who did Abraham pray God. Which God? The God. Which God? God. No, which God? God. There which is only one God. There is only one God. Which divine entity? Do you want me to explain to you? Which divine entity? Do you want me to... You don't want to answer the question. I am, I am explaining it to you. Said three divine I'm explaining entities, it to you. So which You're not letting me answer. No, 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 no. Which, which of the divine entities did Abraham worship? Just God. Which divine entity? You can according just to, pray to God. According to Trinity, which of You can just pray to God. You see, what you're doing is, you explain to me what Trinity is, yeah. and you say there are three, three divine entities, but they're one God. Yeah. Right? Now, I'm asking you, Abraham worshipped God, correct? Yeah. Which of those three divine entities did Jesus did I don't. Worship? I don't think you understand my answer. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, he prayed to God. Which God? All of them. Which divine entity? They're all God. Which, which of the they are all God. Which of they the are all God. Did he, so I don't know he, how many times I need to repeat okay, this to so you, Okay, so did he worship the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit? Of course. Abraham. Of course. Give me the evidence. Well, give me evidence. You're saying that Abraham give me, prayed. Give me evidence from the Old Testament. Did Abraham pray? I believe Abraham prayed to the Father, yes. To God, the yeah. Creator. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. As, a, as a Muslim, yeah. as a Muslim, yeah. can you say, I'm praying in the name of Muhammad, Gabriel and Allah? No, I, I can't say Why? It. Me, I cannot say it. Why can't you say it? No, because that's blasphemy. Blasphemy? Yeah. Okay. That's blasphemy. I want you to explain the blasphemy in 1 uh, Timothy, and I want you to also explain John 5.20, and I want you to explain this one, which I'm going to give you now. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you said, in the name of Muhammad, Gabriel and Allah, that would be blasphemy, and comparing Muhammad to God, correct? Not comparing, but you're trying to... It's like a divine claim. Okay, so extent. you're making a divine claim to Muhammad? I don't believe in that. Okay, fantastic. So you can't say that. But when Jesus baptised someone, he said, I baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but you look at historically, that all, the, all the church fathers said, go and baptise in my name. No, name, one. The name, name, one. name one, name one, name one, name uh, one. If I'm not mistaken, you say this. Can you and show me you proof? Look, and if you read in the book of Acts, yeah. not a single apostle, not a single apostle ever, ever backed in the name of the Father. Do you know who Saint Ignatius is? No, you can speak to EF now, mate. Do you they're, know? They're more, they're more qualified than me. Of course, you don't to want to answer the no, question. No, 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 answer no, the question, no, and then we can no, move no, on. on. You're deflecting. Who did Abraham worship to? You God. Said, you said the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. No, I didn't say that oh at all. God. Didn't he say that? I did not oh, say no, that no, at all. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you again. We can go back on the recording. I never said that. When Abraham worshipped God, yeah. Which of these three divine entities? He worshipped God. You believe in Trinity, correct? Yes. So Trinity is three divine entities yeah. who share the same But you know if you say dear God, God, if you say dear God, you're praying to all of them. Okay, so you are saying Abraham worshipped the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Of course. Okay, where's your evidence? Your where's your evidence that he didn't? <laughs> 
You're, you're making believe, a claim. You're supposed to sub, no, you're supposed to give the evidence. No, you're making the claim that Abraham only no, prayed I to the Father. So if you substantiate that, and then answer my I questions. Can you answer my questions? Any one of them? Okay, okay. Do you know what I could have easily said to you? Three of them. Hang on. I could have easily said to you, Abraham never worshipped the Father's Father, Son. Okay, fantastic. I didn't say that. That still doesn't answer any of my questions. questions. That doesn't answer any of my questions. None of my questions have been answered. Sorry? None of my questions have been answered. Because then, okay, fine. You answer my question and then I'll... I've already answered. I've answered you... your John 17 free. I've answered who the Trinity is. I've answered historically. No, you haven't answered John Yes, I have. Free. Yes, who I have. Who is the only true God that Jesus was God. No, the, the fa Father. This, are the you going to listen to me or are you going to act like okay, a six-year-old? Okay. But if you don't want to act like so, a six-year-old, so, so, we can okay, have a normal okay. conversation. Many Catholic priests. That doesn't matter. Yeah? Yeah? Do you want me to bring that up? Do you want me to bring the Imams up? Yeah. Okay, fine. You want to play that game? Yeah. I'll bring up the Catholic priests. Okay. Do, do they represent Catholicism? Some of them, yeah. <laughs> you know what, take care of this. Hey, I a question. Bro, I had one good question for you. Um, I explained the Trinity to him, but the first time we had an argument, it was about apostates, which we completely went off. But once I um, explained the Trinity to him, he didn't want to understand it. So I, I asked him three questions. I asked him about uh, Timothy 2.16, where Timothy, uh, John 2.17 even, sorry where Timothy says, my Lord and my God, and then Jesus doesn't correct him, even though he said it's blasphemy. He didn't want to answer that. He didn't want to answer why he baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he also didn't want to answer St. Ignatius of Antioch when he called him our God. And then he wanted to ignore every historical evidence of Jesus. But also, I named the Love Paradox, which will be on my channel, if you're interested, which disproves Unitarians on um, Christian love. So, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it.